Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We are the RC Sailors, and in front of us we have the Zero Explorer drone. Or the best quad on the market right now. I think so. And okay, end review. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Easy review. Why is it the best drone on the market right now? At least camera drone, because right out of the box, this thing will just take right off and fly with really no brain power turning on at all. Anybody can fly this. Anybody can fly this. <laughs> it's I can fly it. Abby's a she makes she just I'm pretty good at this quad. Anybody can fly this. Right when you get it out of the box. And I fly on mode 3. <laughs> right when you get it out of the box, the only thing you have to do is adjust the legs, screw on four props, and charge your battery and you can fly. And you'll probably we got we picked up ours as separate entities, the quad and then the V kit but I'm sure you probably have to put the camera on too. But it just yeah, snaps Yeah, super on. easy. I just plugged it right in. So there are a few different components when it comes to the quad itself. The props are self-tightening. They're extremely easy to put on. You just screw them on. And you do want to check them occasionally to make sure they're still tight, but the motors spin like opposite the direction of the threads, so they pretty much stay on. The legs, I've had a lot of questions about. They look thin and flimsy. They really do. I agree with you. But they're not. They do an amazing job and we've never had them fold up when landing. Mm -hmm. They lock down really nicely. And the quad when it's landing pretty much knows you're landing. Yep. And it slows itself down yep. for you. It does. It's not going to let you slam into the ground no, unless you're just being stupid. No matter what flight mode you're in. Mm -hmm. So it does an amazing job with the landings. Um, You've got nice bright LEDs on the front, they're red and green on the rear. You can adjust the brightness of the lights on your transmitter with the control knob in the corner. You do that because sometimes when you're flying in the late evening, you can get some light reflecting off of these onto your camera. And in those situations, if you're filming, you'd want to turn those lights down. So you can do that from the transmitter. Very easy to do. It flies with a GPS lock and it does so extremely well. Now, moving from the quad, I wanna take a look at the transmitter because this now is my favorite transmitter I've ever used. And the thing we cannot preach you enough about this transmitter is the way it feels and the way it looks. Yep. You just don't understand how good this feels. You just don't. It has the rubber grips. Does What, what has this on it? That Nothing. Maybe, I don't even know. But then yeah, it's not nothing. just the rubber grips on the front, it's whatever this material is, is just smooth and it's lightweight, even yeah. with your uh, you know, plus sized phone yeah. in it, it doesn't feel like it's fallen over like some transmitters we've held before. Oh my gosh, and it just, it just feels good. And yeah. it's just unexplainable, really. Few different features that this has that stand out. Uh, number one that you saw me pull out there is your uh, mobile device holder. Now uh, this holds Abby's iPhone uh, 6S Plus. It holds my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 4 without the case. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got to take it out of the case, but it does fit in there snugly and definitely doesn't want to fall out. Yeah, I was, there's probably footage of me just like holding Maybe. it and doing whatever. It's um, not going to fall out. This you can position and then it I just like slides back down inside the transmitter. Every so single cool. transmitter in the world should do this. There's no reason why it can't. The only unfortunate thing is it can't hold like iPad sized phones. That's okay or, you know, for me. Not phones, but you know what I mean. This does fly on 2.4 gigahertz, and if you get the whole unit together, the ready to fly with the camera gimbal, it does come with this nice little gadget on the back. This is a range extender, and it really does extend the range. It plugs in just by lining up some slots on the back, and then you lock it in place, and it knows it's there and it's ready to go. So it's kind of like a clover antenna, but nicer. It just extends the flight and the video uh, feed. And it kind of serves as like a prop, or like to prop Yeah, it helps the, hold up the transmitter. Yeah. Okay, so on the top right knob here, you have your gimbal control. It lets you control the camera vertically, uh, up and down. And it does it really smooth too. Extremely smooth. The two control sticks are extremely nice. They just feel 
They just feel really well made. They're very professional feeling. You'll notice that the throttle stick bounces back to the center. This is because it, it works really well. I didn't know if I'd like it, but uh, it's center is hover, throttle up is to make it go, and when, it, when you let go, it just stays there. And when you're landing, right. you just pull Which it down. Which is so cool because you can you know go up to 100 feet, set your transmitter down, which I don't recommend, but you can. And it'll stay there. And it'll stay there. You've got a few other things here I'm going to point out, and then we'll move on to the components of the quad, uh, like the gimbal and things. Uh, this switch is your flight agility mode, or uh, how, just how fast it'll let you fly. In one, you're going to creep really slowly, but you get really sweet mm -hmm. footage when you're doing that. Two, you fly almost double the speed. They have altitude limits. That's too, right. Don't they? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Altitude and range limits. So. In, uh, in the first one, I, I don't remember off the top of my head what they are, but it sets you at say 100 feet in the, in the sky and won't let you fly any higher. Two uh, maybe is two or 300 yeah, feet and four maybe 400 feet. Uh, so they let you fly faster and farther the higher uh, you put the switch in, plain and simple. You've got three buttons here on the front. The one on the right is your auto takeoff and auto landing Which button. It's so awesome. It's just, you, you Initiate your motors by pulling down and out and they start turning slowly and then you press auto takeoff right. and it just takes off to about six feet or so. And people were like, come on guys, you don't need auto takeoff, but we have it, so why not, why not use, use it? it? Yeah. <laughs> the middle button is a return to home feature. This works every single time, no matter where the quad is. It just flies back to where it took off within a couple feet. And the third button here over by your throttle uh, control stick is IOC. It's basically headless mode and it works amazingly well. You press that, the lights start flashing and uh, you can rotate the quad to face any direction and when you push away, it still goes away. Mm -hmm. So it's no longer uh, orientation for the quad, it's orientation for where you are standing mm -hmm. on the ground. So it works extremely well. The on-off switch is on the back. I like this a lot. They've hidden it under this bar, so it's not in a position that you bump it at all. Your fingers never are in the way of that on-off switch. So um, just a great design by them. This operates on a rechargeable battery that you plug in a micro USB cord to, and it flies for, I've, I'm usually flying it three or four times, uh, or batteries on this before I even attempt to recharge right. this. But you could probably do more like six or seven flights, I'd say. Right, and if you always use your app, your app uh, tells you what yeah, percentage right. your charger's at. That's right, the your transmitter. transmitter and the quad. And it does come with that micro USB charger Nate was talking about. Yes, okay, now moving back to the quad here, we've got uh, really nice batteries. They are proprietary and they are a little expensive, but you know what? Other quads are doing this and this one works extremely well. It has a lock switch on the back that you drop and then you can pull the battery out. These are smart batteries. They're 5200 milliamp LiPo batteries, 11.1 .1 volts, and they have a lot of cool connectors to them. They look sweet, they match the quad, and they just work extremely well. It's Popeye! The charger uses, uh, that you have to use to charge these, also has a USB port on it you can plug into so you can charge your transmitter and flight batteries at the same time. And you can press this little button on them to see how much juice you have left in them to know if you're fully charged or not before you take them out to the field. So that's a really nice little indicator. I would say I've got about 10 to 15 flights on my Zero now. That's counting Abby's flights too. And it seems like every time I charge these, depending on how much juice is in them, I mean, it, it can top it off in 10 minutes if you have almost a full charge, uh, but I've not had to wait any longer than like 45 minutes or so for one battery mm -hmm. through that proprietary charger. So it seems to do a really good job, and it's no longer than any other thing I've ever had to wait for. So that's pretty normal. And uh, the, the, to the quad here, you've got the gimbal that just slides in and uh, uh, locks on the side here. There's a little lock and it has four rubber grommets already installed. It's a three axis gimbal on a 1080p camera that'll also do 60 frames at uh, seven, let's see, it'll do 720p at 60 frames a second as well. The legs are never in the way of the camera when they're down or up. Um, not Only occasionally do the props get in the way when you take off. Really quickly. Really, really quickly, yeah. Right. Um, the, the gimbal just works extremely well and the best way for me to show you that is just to watch some of the other footage mm -hmm. that we have and I may have a little b-roll here for you 
to see it in action. I mean, it just, just works so, so well. One of my favorite things about the camera is the lens cap is magnetic. I just thought that was so cool. It just, right there. And then it also comes with um, an ND filter as yeah. well. Um, so if you're filming midday, uh, you can put your filter on, make your footage look a little bit better. Right, they're basically, this is like sunglasses for your camera if yeah. you're not much into uh, filming or photography. Mm -hmm. And that, like she said, snaps on with a magnet and then that's just a nice little rubber lens cap. Yeah. So um, that is, that's, that's everything about the quad, the gimbal, the camera, and the transmitter itself. And that's just, basic, that's half of mm -hmm. what there is to know about it. The app is packed full of features. Right. And I think that was the thing we struggled with the most was learning the app. Yeah. Um, the instruction manual didn't really have good any, instructions. Any content on the involving, app. Involving, yeah. It was, and and it wasn't good. at least at the time of filming this, the only people that had any kind of support on this were foreign channels. Uh, so it was Foreign to us. Foreign to us. <laughs> so it's very difficult to understand how to get a couple of the things working. Now, it's actually we figured it out. It's a quite easy when you get into and it. And you're but, like, duh. <laughs> yeah. So if you are a little confused on any of those features, watch our videos that right. explain how to so do this. So you those. have to follow me, circle me, follow snap, waypoints. Mm -hmm. You can adjust your camera. You can shoot in full manual with ISO aperture, all that stuff. Yes. Um, if you really, really want to, but auto seemed to work really, really well. All our footage was auto. We got our Zero Explorer drone when the whole kit together was $800, but we got ours separately. We got the drone for $500 and the gimbal and V kit, uh, the, just the V kit, the camera and the gimbal for, for another, another $500. Yeah. So it was $1,000 and we got one battery. Mm -hmm. And uh, but, but exactly what you see here, I mean, it worked extremely well, the charger and everything. Now they dropped that to $800 for everything if you got it together. And recently, they dropped, Tower Hobbies dropped it an That's insane crazy. amount from $800 down to $599 for everything I just said. And of and, course, Tower has hold on, uh, more. more. And another battery, which is worth about $100. And then if you use their promo codes, at least at the time of filming this, you can get everything, including the V kit, I'm sorry, the, the range extender, V kit, and the extra battery for uh, $534. No With taxes, free shipping. That, that is mind blowing. Not to mention that this is just an insanely awesome product to begin with. I think overall the reason this quad is so awesome, and we're calling it the best quad on the market right now, mm -hmm. is because it is truly plug and play. Mm -hmm. A lot of quads you have to struggle with updating firmware and doing this and doing that. Right. This quad, not the case. You plug in everything, you charge your batteries, you go out and you fly. And you fly. Now there are firmware updates that you can do, but you don't have to. Right. You do not have to. You just take it out and you fly. And I truly believe if you can fly the Dromeda Ominous, okay, you can fly this. <laughs> it's mind blowing how easy to fly this is. Mm -hmm. I, I think, I haven't done it, but I'm the next time I go back home, I'm gonna hand the controls to my mom and just say, here you go, because it pretty much flies itself. I, I, She's at home watching this one. Yeah, I know. No. Oh. <laughs> Abby was intimidated. She didn't want to fly this when we first got it, but then the, the, the day I kind of made her take the controls on it, she just uh, flies. And like, now I'm like, give me that. Yeah. <laughs> it's mine. And it's fun. Now, in the live feed, you have a Wi Fi live feed. Uh, it doesn't feel like Wi Fi because it's a really fast connection. It feels like something that's similar to other popular quads out there. And it will have, it just has a really good live feed to your mobile device. So you always have the framing in focus and you know what you're shooting yeah. right there from the ground, which is super handy. It's sleek, it's easy to fly, and the camera footage looks great. Also, this is really low profile I and know. it cuts through the. I have flown this in a ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's been so windy here lately, like 15 to 20 miles easily. per hour gusts. Yeah, I don't recommend that you do that, but I'm just telling you because of that low profile on these days when you have 5 to 10 mile an hour winds, it's going to just cut through them like butter. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just goes right through the wind. And it's it's such a beautiful quad too. It's cool looking. It just looks way cooler than other quads that are similar to this on the market. And uh, the last thing to boot that's extremely important if you buy this is buy it on Tower Hobbies 
dot com and tell them we sent you well it doesn't matter <laughs> you can if you want to but the reason I tell you it's important to buy it on tower is because of the customer service there are other competitors that are similar designs and concepts that are foreign and they just don't have customer service at, at all, all. or then, it takes 24 to 48 hours to get a response sure <laughs> and if you buy this on another you could buy this in stores I've seen it mm -hmm. in actual stores I've seen it on Amazon mm -hmm. I don't recommend you buy it there because no. it's going to be a similar price even if you save five bucks mm -hmm. you don't get the customer service that you get on tower hobbies right I don't know how they do it I don't know how they can afford to have such good customer service and have the same prices or better prices than competitors mm -hmm. so that in my opinion is where you should buy yours uh, okay that is it if you want to see a more broken down uh, any part of what we've been talking about at all we have an unboxing a first flight that shows you the basic flight mode a second flight that we take it out to a more open area and show you how, how fast it flies mm -hmm. we do uh, all kinds that we did a uh, first flight with video and gimbal then we broke down the app features mm -hmm. for you I and mean, we have a ton of content I'll probably make a playlist just on this drone for you if you are on the fence at all you shouldn't be I mean I there's no reason you should be on the fence at all if you're considering any type of camera drone this is the one to get mm -hmm. at least right now as of the time of filming and releasing this video this is the one that you should spend your money on at towerhobbies.com plain and simple thanks a lot for watching guys we'll see you in the next video bye bye puppy they've barely seen you all week wake up he's okay, sleeping bye oh he's bye. A, hey, you didn't take me to eat fish <laughs> oh he's still better <laughs> see you guys